Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Mrs. P. Tarleton and I have been hit by the Among Us bug. Oh my goodness. So I just couldn't resist the opportunity to convert my lesson into an Among Us Google form. Let's dive in. So the first thing I want to get started with for my Google form is the Among Us theme banner or header for our Google form. So I'm in a blank Google slide. I'm going to set up the page, file, page setup, custom. We're going to change this to pixels because I know I need 1600 by 400 pixels. That's for a Google form banner. And then I'm going to just go to backgrounds. And because this game is so popular, it's actually pretty easy to find. Just type in Among Us and we can choose from what banner we want. I'm going to go with this first one. And I might even put the little character in there. Let's go ahead and insert an image. He's transparent. So let's go ahead and add him. I'm going to shrink him down and just stick him over here in the corner. I feel like he's facing the wrong way. So I'm going to go to format, format options, size and rotation, and flip. Now we have it. So now that we have our banner completed, we're going to go to file, download, and we need to download it as a PNG and go over to a blank Google form, go to the paint palette, choose image. We want to upload, browse the computer. I know it was in my downloads and there's the border. So we fit inside perfectly. Click done. And notice Google form automatically shifts the shading, the coloring of my form. So I'm going to go ahead and title it. So my title is angle pair relationships, and I'm letting the students know it's their job to complete the task. Emergency meetings will be called and they'll be ha and they'll have to determine who the imposter is. So let's go ahead and get started. My first question. And because my next problem, problem number two, is going to be the same thing, same options, I'm going to just duplicate this question. So I'm going to copy it, duplicate it here. And all I need to do now is change the image. So remove it. And then I can add a new image. Notice I have all my images already saved on my computer. I just went and cropped them out, numbered them, and then it's quick and easy to add them in. I'm going to duplicate it one more time. Remove the image. And now I'll add a new image for question number three. going to also make these all required. I did forget that. So let me go back really quick, make them all required. That way students cannot skip the next one. We're going to call an emergency meeting of which one doesn't belong. And then I'm going to keep on going, adding all of my questions and every few, I'll go ahead and have an emergency meeting for the students. So now that I've got all my questions entered and my emergency meeting entered with my imposters for them to choose from and answer, you do have the option if you want this to be self-graded, a quiz, you could do that. You go to settings. I always want to collect the emails, limit one response, and make this a quiz. I usually don't release the grade until later. Then I save it. 
And to create your answer key, what you need to do is go to each question and you need to mark which is the correct answer. So here's answer key is highlighted down here and click the correct answer. And you're going to do that for each one of your questions. And then it'll be self grading. And at the end, you'll get all your data back and you'll be able to see which imposters they chose.